Hi, welcome to Your Great Journey. We offer brief tips, techniques, and insights to help you move in positive directions and master big change. For more information, please visit yourgreatjourney.com. Your Great Journey is brought to you by audiobook publisher Wetware Media. Wetware Media publishes a wide variety of personal transformation audiobooks available from any major online audiobook retailer. For more information, please visit wetwaremedia.com. That's W E T W A R E M E D I A.com. The audiobook Calming the Emotional Storm is your guide to coping with difficult emotions calmly and responsibly by using powerful skills from dialectical behavior therapy. This method combines cognitive behavioral techniques with mindfulness practices to change the way you respond to stressful situations. By practicing these skills, you can stop needless emotional suffering and develop the inner resilience that will help you to weather any emotional storm. In this episode, you'll learn the many ways that practicing mindfulness can improve your ability to choose your response to any situation and bring you back from painful thoughts of the past or worries about the future to find a calmer, more empowering present. Mindfulness has a calming effect. Although relaxation is not the goal of mindfulness, people often find that mindfulness does have a relaxing or calming effect. Here are a few possible explanations for this. Living in the present moment, rather than in the past or the future, results in fewer painful emotions. Having less emotional pain in your life on a regular basis will result in a calmer or more relaxed experience. Doing one thing at a time with your full attention is likely in direct contrast to how you generally live your life. Most people find that when they stop multitasking, they feel calmer and less overwhelmed. Once people start practicing mindfulness, they often find themselves focusing on pleasant activities that they never paid much attention to before, like listening to the birds, petting their dog, walking, and doing breathing exercises. These activities are calming if you are really paying attention to them as you do them. Being less judgmental of yourself and of the people and things around you will also have a calming effect. You will experience more feelings of peace when you focus on accepting things as they are, rather than feeling anger and other painful emotions because things aren't how you'd like them to be. Being generally calmer, in turn, allows you to regulate your emotions more effectively. Think of your emotions as the water building up behind a dam. The more the water builds up, the more likely it is that the dam will burst. Likewise, The higher your emotional level is on a regular basis, the harder it will be for you to manage your emotions and the more likely that you'll lose control. The lower the level of your emotions, the easier it will be for you to manage them. Mindfulness increases positive emotions. Living more often in the present not only reduces emotional pain, as you live more mindfully, your level of positive emotions will rise. Think about the way you've led your life up until now. Whenever you've done things that could have been enjoyable, were you really present for them? When you were playing with your children, walking your dog, sitting outside with your cup of coffee in the morning, were you really there? Or was your body going through the motions while your mind wandered to other, less pleasant things? If the latter is the case, your experience is typical. Our minds tend to wander to the past or the future, and we experience painful emotions even when we're doing an activity that would bring us enjoyment if we were paying attention to it. So once you start practicing mindfulness, you should notice an increase in positive emotions. Even if the positive emotions are mild and don't last very long, enjoy them while they're there. Increased awareness helps you gain control of behaviors. Everyone experiences unhealthy or inappropriate urges at one time or another. It could be something relatively unimportant and not harmful, like the urge to bite your nails or the urge to laugh out loud in the middle of a business meeting. Or it could be more serious and bothersome, such as being in emotional pain 
and having the urge to lash out at someone you care about. Some people naturally learn ways to control their behavior and not act on these urges. But for others, acting on urges can become a habit. In other words, you may have come to relate certain thoughts and emotions to a harmful behavior, and you now engage in this behavior without awareness. It's become a habit you engage in whenever those strong emotions arise, and you do it automatically. The first step to changing any behavior is to increase your awareness of it. When you're unaware of your inner experience, specifically your thoughts, feelings, and urges, you're much more likely to act on unhealthy urges and to automatically engage in behaviors that you will likely regret later. If you can increase your awareness of behaviors that you wish to stop, and you can relate your urges to the thoughts and feelings that trigger them, you will be much more able to choose how to act and be less likely to fall into your habitual pattern. In other words, if you have a habit of overeating when stressed, you first need to determine what tends to trigger this behavior, such as having an argument with someone you care about, receiving constructive criticism at work, or dwelling on the past. Then, by practicing mindfulness to help you increase your awareness of when those triggers are occurring, you can consciously choose other, healthier ways of coping. Mindfulness increases your self-awareness. As previously mentioned, increasing your self-awareness is especially important with emotion regulation difficulties. Just as you can't change a behavior until you're aware of it, you can't change your thoughts or emotions unless you're aware of what you're thinking and feeling. Chapter 3 will further address the connection between thoughts and emotions. For now, it's important that you understand that practicing mindfulness will increase awareness of your own internal experiences, your thoughts, feelings, urges, and physical sensations, which will help you to manage your emotions more effectively. Mindfulness improves concentration and memory. Mindfulness can have a positive effect on your ability to concentrate and can improve your memory. Although not directly related to emotional dysregulation, this is relevant to your overall quality of life. Many of us take the ability to concentrate for granted. In fact, you may have noticed that during times when you're feeling very sad, you're more likely to forget things or have trouble concentrating. Mindfulness can help with this. By redirecting your focus over and over again to whatever you're doing in the present moment, you're improving your concentration. As for memory, when you're concentrating on something, you're more likely to remember it later. When you walk in the house after a long day at work, and you're still thinking about work and the stressful day that awaits you tomorrow, you'll be less likely to remember where you put your car keys later on because you weren't thinking about your keys when you put them down. Getting yourself off automatic pilot and focusing on what you're doing when you're doing it will improve your memory. The key thing to remember about mindfulness is that it is helpful in many, many different ways. You might not notice a difference immediately, although some people do report noticing positive changes soon after they start practicing. In fact, it's important to note that things might actually seem to get a bit worse before they start to get better. This is because you're opening yourself up to experiencing things that you haven't allowed yourself to experience before. So it makes sense that you'll perhaps feel pain that you have not felt before, or at least for a long time. But the more you practice, the more likely it is that you'll see positive changes. And the more you practice, the greater those changes will be. Thanks for listening to this excerpt from the audiobook, Calming the Emotional Storm. You can purchase the complete audiobook from any major online audiobook retailer. For more information, please join us at yourgreatjourney.com. Thanks for listening. Your Great Journey is brought to you by audiobook publisher Wetware Media. Wetware Media publishes a wide variety of personal transformation audiobooks available from any major online audiobook retailer. For more information, please visit wetwaremedia.com. That's W-E-T-W-A-R-E-M-E-D-I-A dot com.